Welcome to a seamless integration between Rhino and Keyshot 5. This video will demonstrate how to use live linking to improve speed and efficiency when working simultaneously between CAD and Keyshot. The Rhino live linking plugin is free to download from keyshot.com slash plugins. Select the appropriate version and run the installer. Now launch Rhino and open the file you wish to render. With the plugin installed, there will be a new menu item for Keyshot 5, where you will find Render, Export, Update, and an option for Keyshot Pro users to include NURBS. Click Render to launch Keyshot, and your model will be imported, centered and snapped to ground with original size and the appropriate model units automatically applied to your scene. If there is an error in connection, go to Preferences, Advanced, and make sure Live Linking is enabled and the port range is 3141 to 3151. If you're seeing jagged edges, you can improve tessellation quality back in Rhino. Go to Mesh, Render Mesh Properties, and select Smooth and Slower, or use a custom setting. When making changes to mesh quality, you must select the components before clicking Update to successfully push over the changes. But first, I'll lock the Keyshot camera so its position doesn't adjust with the update. Users of Keyshot Pro can work with a low mesh quality for higher performance and simply enable NURBS when ready to render for perfectly smooth results. Back in Rhino, you can create material groupings by adding multiple objects to a layer or sublayer so they will be linked when sent to Keyshot. For example, these four objects that compose the handle are intended to be the same material, so I've added them all to a layer. A sublayer's material will act independent of the layer it's contained in, but can be linked to it or other layers by assigning the same material by layer. For example, I want the joints and fasteners sublayers along with the pocket clip layer to be linked in Keyshot. So I'll assign the same material to each layer. Just like the mesh changes, you must select the affected objects first in order to successfully update layer and material changes. If the name of the material assigned in Rhino matches the name of a material in your Keyshot library, those parts will be automatically painted up in Keyshot. Just like the native importer, assembly names and structure are maintained, making for a smooth transition between the two applications. When using live linking, you can apply materials, lighting, even move parts and assign animations. Now, when object changes are made in Rhino, click Update to push them over. Select individual objects that have incurred changes before clicking Update to avoid sending over all objects. After an update, materials, lighting, position, and animation will be retained, but keep in mind that materials may not behave as expected if unlinked from their original grouping in Keyshot. To ensure speed and stability when working with live linking, avoid running multiple sessions of Keyshot. Both Rhino and Keyshot can be closed and reopened, maintaining live linking functionality. As long as the Keyshot scene tree structure and Rhino file name remains unchanged. If your CAD application and Keyshot are running on different machines, 
Use the export function to save a BIP file, which will import to Keyshot faster than the native CAD file. This method also allows updating. Export the adjusted model with the same name, making sure not to overwrite the original. When importing, use the Update Geometry option to update changes to your existing model. Or, if you'd like to keep all variations in your scene tree, use the Add to Scene option using Original Size, Center, Snap to Ground, and Retain Materials. In Keyshot 5, powerful features like live linking enhance your rendering workflow and expand the possibilities of what you can create. Download the free Rhino plugin now at keyshot.com slash plugins.